I'm gonna bring us back to a strategy that used to work really, really well across our entire portfolio of accounts. And it's specifically crushing for brands that are spending between $10,000 a month and $60,000 a month. What this strategy is doing is it's leveraging bid caps and cost caps. But before I show you how we do it, I'm gonna go into two accounts to show exactly how we implemented this. The last 10 days, the amount that we spent was $3,400 and we drove $9,200 in revenue. When we compare this to the previous month, we actually spent 37% less. However, we drove 2% more. It means our ROAS went up by a whopping 64% by implementing this strategy. Hopping over to another account, we drove $3,700 in spend to drive $7,300 in revenue. And if we compare this to December 1st to December 11th, we drove $3,700, which is basically the same 3% change in total spend. However, our total value increased by 14% and our ROAS increased by 18%. In 99% of your campaigns, when you go to the campaign settings, you're going to see the campaign bid strategy is normally set up as lowest cost or highest volume. We are changing this to bid cap. So I'm actually just gonna build a completely fresh campaign. We're gonna call this sales campaign and we're gonna call this ad set. We're gonna use a manual sales campaign. And then we are first gonna scroll down to the campaign bid strategy. Do not choose cost per result goal. We're gonna go all the way down to other options, bid cap. We are gonna actually go back to campaigns and make sure we have this on advantage campaign budget. What's really important here is we need to actually set our budget much higher than we're comfortable with. If I wanted to spend 500 bucks a day, I'm gonna set this closer to a thousand dollars a day because we actually want this to operate under our target budget. Next piece, we are going to go into our ad set. You could either select web and shop or web performance goal, maximize number of conversions, select your commerce account. Here is what we care about as it pertains to the strategy, your bid control. This is asking you how much are you willing to pay per conversion period? What Facebook is going to do, it's only going to get you conversions that are cheaper than your bid. What it's going to be doing is measuring your conversion rate versus your click through rate and a few other metrics in there way faster than any human can and it's going to be pulling out whether it thinks it could drive a more valuable or less valuable conversion for you at your bid control. Let's just pretend we need to drive a $100 cost per acquisition. If we set it to 100, it's only gonna get us 99 and lower. That might be fine for you if you're running your own e-commerce business and you just wanna drive extremely profitable purchases. What I like to do is set our bid control about 50% higher than our goal. If I have a $100 bid cap, I wanna set it to 150 just to get it going. In the days to come, I may move this from 150 to 140 to 130 to 120. You shouldn't do this all the time. Wait seven days, wait 14 days to start making changes. We're not setting a budget schedule. We are leaving audience controls open. You should set your target country to the United States. Advantage plus audiences. You can leave this blank. Now I would really recommend here that you do still test different audiences within here. So what we might do is we may, instead of calling this test ad set, we might call this broad. We could then quickly duplicate it and we can call this interest number one. And we would set ourselves a specific interest all the way down here. By doing this, we're at least going to give some different signals and different options where the bid caps might be able to hit. For example, your bid cap might be successful in an audience that's luxury shoppers. It might not be successful in an audience that's just broad. When we launch new audiences within these campaigns, we don't need to create a separate testing campaign because the bid cap is going to be followed very, very strictly by Facebook, meaning if it can't hit that cap, it's not going to spend your money. So I'll give you a great example. In this account in particular, you could see these two ad sets are not spending enough money. I'm going to let these run for a little bit longer. However, Facebook is basically identifying that within these cohorts, we're not able to spend. So it's not wasting my money. What would normally happen in a regular CBO campaign without big caps is instead of spending $7 here, you spend 700 and waste 10, 20, 30% of your budget on a test. That's what we want to avoid. And that's exactly what big caps do. If you're in that 10 to 60 K range in spend, this is something you should try, but there's one big red flag. Do not run this strategy. If you are running other lowest cost campaigns, you should only run this strategy solo in an account. If you run lowest cost campaigns or your normal campaigns with this strategy, they are going to completely mix up the results with the view through, click through, and different attribution methods that are in Facebook. If you want to dive way deeper on this, definitely ask me questions in the comments. And if this content or any of the content on the channel is valuable to you, definitely let me know, subscribe, and we'll talk soon.